family, see me here with my week two match against the Blazing Type Flosions against the Running Man 99. Uh, the Canadian Blaziken. Whew, will they lose this week? Uh, hopefully not, because we did lose last time, and Cameron does not have his Mega today. Uh, the Running Man does not have his Mega today, so that is kind of good news for us, because a Mega Pokemon is a Mega Pokemon. Um, so now, I predicted Ferrothorn as his lead. He doesn't have Ferrothorn, so... I'm gonna have to say it's either Weavile, or, um... Porygon. I'm not too sure, it's uh, it's kind of scary, he does have a, a lot more low tier mons than uh, high tier mons in comparison to me, so I, I, I could say I have the advantage, but of course in, in the SBA, in the Showdown Battle Association, you can't really say you have the advantage until you win. So, if he leads with um, Weavile, this is scary. This is truly scary. Um, I'm scared. I'm scared. No, oh, don't touch me. Ah, uh, I'm scared about his Needle King. I'm scared about a lot of things. Um, I've got to think very. Uh, I'm just gonna open the damage calculator because I will be damage calculating this match because I don't want to lose. Uh, I'll be starting with um. Uh, Sage Swine might not be bad. But at the same time... Ooh. Let's open up with a Sage Swine here. I do see the jelly donut. Um, so it probably has its call, and that's what it's gonna go for right now. Um, how much? I'm scared. I mean, my lead was predictable, so I should have predicted the jealous. It does have water absorbed, so uh, that's why I carry. Um, Aurora here. Let's go out into Aurora because that's kind of my counter. Will o Wisp. Okay. Let's go for Calm Mind here. That's very scary for his team. And here comes PlayStation. Mr. PlayStation probably has like T Bolt or something because that is uh, scary. I am going to go for. Should I call mine again? Speed. If I call mine right now, it might not be bad because I do have the Chesto Berry. Um, I could try to Skull, but it does have the Eevee Light, and I'm pretty scared about that. Uh, I think my best play is to Calm Mind, because he can't kill me with T-Bolt, that's for sure, and that's probably what he's going to go for, because he can't Toxic. I'm going to go for another Calm Mind here, I'm not too sure. Uh, a Discharge, doing some crazy damage. Uh, here's where I go for Rest. Bam. Chesterberry coming through. Uh, let's call now. Please get a burn. No burn. Here comes the toxic. I was expecting the toxic here. I'm going to go for another calm mine. In comes another discharge. And here is where I want to rest again. He does recover. Makes a lot of sense. I'm going to go for another Calm Mind here. Ooh, 
Ooh, I'm paralyzed. I want to rest as quickly as possible, because if I get paralyzed here, I don't get paralyzed! Thank you! That was very scary. He does have 1.5 special attack from that download. Um... Aurora blocked his team completely. Um, I think I'll let Aurora go down right now because I can't do anything because... Yeah, we st we're still asleep. Ice Beam predicting the Landorus, maybe, knowing it would kill the, um, does have the, uh, Ice Beam. So the fact that he revealed the Ice Beam right now is pretty nice. At least for me. He might have, like, Hidden Power of Fire. If he has HP fire, fire I, I probably lost the game. That crit mattered so much. BAM! Now that thing is usually scarfed, so I'm not gonna waste time. Uh, in comes a fire move. So, Genie Man, it's up to you. Flamethrower, I am a Salt Vest. This isn't gonna do any sort of damage. And I'm just gonna knock off away, just in case he switches. PlayStation, there you go, the switch I wanted so much. Bam, knock off. And that's awesome. That is awesome. Perfect. Here I can set up my rocks. <sighs> Let's go out into Dragon Slayer. Only 18%. It didn't burn though. That is very good news. I'm gonna light screen away right now. And yes, the Running Man 99. That is a fairy tale reference. Uh, I don't only watch fairy tale, but I do watch fairy tale. So I don't. I don't carry the um, the uh, heel bell, unfortunately. But here comes a physical mon. That's why I wanted to go out into Dragon Slayer now. I can set up my things and. He's not going to do much damage. I'm going to go into Scrap Metal here. Poison Jab, immune, no damage. There you go, that's what I wanted to see. <sighs> I'm happy he has Poison Jab, because that's something I can predict for next time, or whatever. Here I can Bullet Punch. It's a crit. And it's resisted. And my Bullet Punch has been disabled. I 
we've knocked off, um... Okay... No item on Wendy as well. Can't be mad about that. Um... That thing is faster than me, definitely. And it probably has flamethrower or something. I would not be surprised, and I believe here is where I need to go into Azel. Only... good. Good, that's not bad. I can nasty plot away. And here is where the fun begins. Here is where everything becomes... scary. Dark side. Still have my screens up, not bad. Uh, immune to Psy Shock. That's Flamethrower. Ah. Wow, it actually killed. Yes! The Jelly Donut! Gone! Bam! That is awesome! In comes PlayStation! I'm going to U-turn and... Speed, um... I have 156. Let's go out into Dragon Slayer here. He's gonna recover away, but I'm gonna set up my screens again. Uh, starting with the light screen. And the reflect. Now I'm going to wish and sacrifice Dragon Slayer. You have done your job very well. Okay, here, he might think I'm, I'll go for Earthquake, I'll actually go for Rock Tomb, just in case. He didn't switch, oh, I see you, I see you. Let's EQ, because he might be scared. There you go. Let's EQ again. Went for the Ice Beam. We're gonna go for Ice Shark here. Goes out into Wendy. 0%. Wendy goes down. Not bad. Citrus Berry activating. Thank you, Citrus. Let's Earthquake. Only at 51%. Fake out. Mmm, what a nice play. Let's go for Ice Shard. I don't think... What? Why did I do that? That was stupid. That was, that was dumb. Of course he went for Ice Shard. Anyway... Here I can just Bullet Punch away. I have a full health Mega on the field. And a almost full health Landorus. PlayStation goes down. Mm. 
Will Bullet Punch kill? It does! Kaiser goes down! 2-2 two to two. Dark side I'm slightly faster but I wouldn't Only 20% Let's go for the bullet punch 0% Dark side goes down And in comes Shadow the Weavile And we The Canadian Blazing can have taken Week 2 we have won the week 2 match, I am very happy that, oh my goodness, that was crazy. We won 2 to none, 2 to 0, 2 to nothing. Uh, yes. <sighs> wow. I'm very happy. I knew that the screens were gonna be a thing. I also, I'm... Azelf was there to do the big damage. Azelf was supposed to wreck his team because Azelf had everything, but I didn't predict uh, like the Malamar and a couple of things that I, that I might have to predict next time. Uh, so Azelf was like almost uh, fully prepared. Anyway, um, Azelf had a kill, I think. Uh, I'll have to rewatch the video. Um, Azelf had a kill, I, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it had a kill. Um, scrap Metal, wow. So many kills. If Scrap Metal, I wanted to keep him for the end. Uh, as a late game sweeper. And the Stealth Rocks. Wow, the, the, oh wow. The Stealth Rocks has, they've done such a good job. And I didn't even need the damage calculator. I'm pretty happy about the outcome of this match. Uh, Stealth Rocks is definitely something I needed. Because his team couldn't really take it. And I needed it for to break a Weavile Sash and a couple of things like that. So that Scrap Metal can, could come in and, and sweep. Uh, Landris didn't get too much showtime. And I'm very happy about the, the double knockoff. That was a really, really good idea. Because I was able to um, do a lot of damage to his team. Um, kind of destroy him a little bit. Have some, some nice... I predicted some, some nice switches. So I'm pretty happy about that. And I was able to take down, I think, four items out of six. Which is just crazy. Also, um, Landris might not have gotten much showtime, but uh, that's good. That's good. You know, he did have the Ice Beam Porygon, which I'm glad he used Ice Beam on, uh, I don't know who, instead of Landris. He did have some poison. He did have a couple of things also. I'm pretty happy about Screen Selvion because I knew he was going to predict uh, Screen Azelf. That's why I wanted Screen Selvion because it's, it's different. And I was able to set up the screens two times, which is perfect because that just doubled my 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 team's bulk and that's how I was able to win because my team my team's just it's power it's very powerful but it doesn't have the best synergy and that's why I need screens and that's why I need uh, other Pokemon to complete the team and I, I brought the same team as last week except for uh, Mamoswine that uh, Mamoswine replaced Magmortar uh, I don't have Magmortar uh, uh, Magmortar anymore Magmortar? Magmortar? Anymore? Anyway, I have Combuskin, so that's pretty nice. And I am wearing my Blaziken shirt right now. I just got it in the mail a couple of days ago. It's Mega Blaziken shirt. It's beautiful, and I'll wear it for every single uh, SBA match. It, it, it brought me luck, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, hit that like button down below for us if you enjoyed the the battle, the video, and our proud member of the Mia family. Comment. It's always a it's always a good idea. What? It's it's always appreciated. I'm so screwed up in my head right now. I'm, I'm happy I won because I needed to take down Cameron because I was last place. And Cameron was like, I think he was, he was like the before last place or something like that. Now, now it puts me in a much better position with one win, one loss. So, yeah. Subscribe to me, X, if you haven't already joined me, family. It's quite awesome over here. I'll see you next time. And as always, Zane.